Hey guys, today I decided to talk about the four different sets I love opening and I think in terms of value, these are the four sets. I've opened a lot of sets. I'm going to actually show you all the booster packs I've opened since COVID and it's a lot uh, in a different binder, but these are the higher end cards that I open. So I've been opening a ton of this set. It is called Shadows, no, Shadows over Innistrad. Is that a correct? Hold on. No, it's called uh, Innistrad Midnight Hunt. No, that's not Midnight Hunt. It's the vampire one. Let me grab the booster pack. Oh, it is uh, Crimson Vow. That is the name of the set. I like it. It's got five land. The five land are pretty hittable. They're not really crazy. And they've got some pretty good mythics. Got a good rare. Um, I'm going to show you more of my little binder, right? Uh, so I have a binder full of cards I've hit. And they are slightly less valuable than those. I like it. Uh, anytime you have a good land base is a fun open because you have five rares. Uh, anytime you have an extra rare that is worth as much as a land base, you know, around that. 20 ish mark retail i'm talking about retail it's i think it's a pretty uh good time in my opinion um you're not really out all that much and uh this is a very easy so obviously it would be really easy for me oh just everyone out open alpha and beta but i'm considering the price crimson vow is very cheap it is incredibly cheap i think it's a fun you know, a lot of these sets I'm going to talk are just cheap opens, and that means you can enjoy yourself. You don't necessarily need to worry about, oh, am I going to go broke? It's just a fun time. So the next one would be uh, Dominaria United. This is very common. It is also very affordable. Uh, it is these boxes. All four of these boxes are incredibly cheap because uh, I think they've been overprinted. This is a pretty interesting one because I think a lot of the cards are undervalued, specifically the land base. The land base isn't worth very much, even the four art lands, because they're their pain lands. They are they are the ally pain lands. And there's a Leyline of the Void, there's Leyliana of the Veil, vale, which is not what it used to be, but you have a top end card. So here you don't really have the top end. The top, I think the most expensive card is this particular land, right? The vampire land for vampire decks. Here you have a top end card that is quite valuable. And yes, it is a mythic, of course. So that makes it harder to hit. In fact, I've opened probably close to 500, 600 packs now, and I've only hit one Sheedrid. And, <laughs> you know, it's not an easy, easy card to hit. I do think a lot of these mythics are short printed for. I've opened probably 25 Karns, and he's a Mythic as well. So it's, you know, if odds are the same, then how come I can't open a Shedra to save my life? I think it's the rarity of these cards are actually being manipulated, and it's not a one-for-one. One. So I've, 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 I have tons of videos on this channel, and you can see it. Uh, it's very difficult to hit a Shedra but it's very easy to hit all the other mythics. All right, nextly uh, is uh, this particular set. Um, I think this is a pretty cool set. It is the, it's got really cool land. It's got five different land, different styles of land, which I like. Um, I love land, land is land. You know, like, yeah, people say, oh, fetch land, shock lands, triomes. Um, there's still, utility is very high. It is, even if the land gets replaced by Beller land in EDH, you probably just play both if you're multicolored, right? So tricolor especially, there's not that many tricolor land that makes sense. This is one of them. Um, and I, I do like the land cycle. I like the fact that you can get the regular, borderless, and then the, the, the frame. Um, I think it's actually quite interesting that the other two bigger cards, Ledger Shredder being the number one, and then there's like some type of limousine. I think it's gone down. It's definitely gone down in price because I used to have them cased up and now they're not longer cased up. Yeah, there's rares as well. So like you don't really have a top end mythic hit like this set does, but you're, 
so in in my opinion, this set Streets of New Campena is actually better than Crimson Vow because the land are just better. I think at the end of the day, that's that's what I have to say. And you do get an extra rare, you know, you you get so wedding invitation versus ledger shredder. In terms of like value and where that value is, uh, it's very very similar. I just think New Campena because of the three different versions of the land, it's just a little bit more fun to open. I think the value is very similar. And again, all four of these boxes are dirt cheap at this moment in time. I think they are sub $100 a box. Which gets to my next set. Uh, my next set, I think Baldur's Gate is really, really good. Baldur's Gate is very, very cheap on Amazon right now. What do I like about Baldur's Gate? Uh, you got the lower end hits, which are the dual lands. The dual lands are very good in Commander. Obviously, they're just, uh, I mean, they should see play in every Commander deck that supports those colors. And on top of that, you do have some really good rares like Displacer Kitten on top of the five land, and you have the high end. So this is land. So it's you know, more hits, right, in the rare slot, some okay hits in the mythic slot. This is big mythic hits, big, big mythic hit, 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 and not so much as the rare slot. Uh, this is more along, along the lines of Crimson, but I give it the second spot because it's more fun to open because there's more different types of land that you can get, so it's not as monotone. Like here, it, it got very monotone. I opened probably 50 more blisters, and it's just like, you know, the land is land right here you have the best of both uh in my opinion i mean you have the dragon hits right the copper dragon the brass dragon you got displacer kits you have some other mythic hits that are you know you have some other mythic hits that can get up there and then you have the land the land is so important when it comes to calculating whether or not it is a good hit uh, in my opinion, it is probably the most important part because it's rare. Like the mythic hits, I don't really love chasing them because you don't see them and it's very volatile. But if you open a box of any of these sets, you're going to hit the land. <laughs> I mean, you're just going to hit two to five to six or d depending on if it's a set or more, you're going to hit a bunch of land because that's just how it is. Uh, that's just how it is. There's five land and there is a bunch of rares and you're guaranteed a rare at least. So here, I like the land. The mythics are a little meh. The other rares, wedding invitation is nice, but are a little meh. Here, land kind of suck. Again, I think they're undervalued. I think a beautiful, beautiful land. It's Shedrid or Bust, which is fun to open sometimes, right? It's like the um, the big win. Here, it's more or less like a better version of Crimson. It's basically a better version of Crimson Vow in terms of EV, but... and. It also offers some diversity in the type of card. I think even Letter Shredder can like have different types, foil, non-foil, and then full art, right? But this is the best. Uh, hands down, it is the best set to open. It's really fun. You got the top end Copper Dragon, or is it Copper Dragon, Ancient Dragon? It's the Red Dragon. I think it's Copper. And that's the Shedrid. In fact, it is priced <laughs> extremely close to Shedrid. Then, but unlike just this set, you have four other dragons as well. And unlike that set, you have five different land. Each of them are very valuable and easy. Now, what do we print them? Yeah, of course, right? That's just how the nature of the game works. But I think it's a really, really great set to open. I think Baldur's Gate is my favorite set of all time to open, especially right now, post-COVID. Just the price point is is very, it's very unlikely you lose money opening it uh, if you consider the retail price anyway let me know what your favorite sets are these are i've been opening a ton of these and i've been having a lot of fun anyway hi guys